2018 is the 150th anniversary of the 14th Amendment, one of the most important amendments of the United States Constitution. A little backstory, the Founding Fathers said, all men are created equal. They went on to ratify the Constitution, but the Constitution still protected slavery. It wasn't until the abolition of slavery and the ratification of the 14th Amendment that the Constitution even said that everyone born in America was a citizen equal in the eyes of the state. The 14th Amendment protects more than just citizens. It grants equal protection under law to citizens and non-citizens alike, regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, or nationality. It makes sure due process is afforded to every person, granting every person fair treatment through the judicial system and in countless other ways. All of these rights affect every one of us in one way or another. We are the future. We have a say. In fact, throughout U.S. history, young people have historically been at the forefront of most movements. The 14th Amendment supports racial justice, women's rights, immigrants' rights, students' rights, reproductive rights, LGBTQ rights, and many more. These rights affect us in one way or another. Let's ask some people how the 14th Amendment has affected their lives. I have friends that their parents came here as, as immigrants, and they have citizenship because they were born here. And if they didn't, or if they came here with no protection and their parents weren't able to stay here, they wouldn't have they're not gonna, they wouldn't have had the opportunities they're having now. The 14th Amendment for me and my family, I feel, especially in the black community, has kind of given an opportunity or a promise that we can be treated the same as everyone else. Our generation is the future of equality and freedom that the people who have fought for the 14th Amendment 150 years ago and again 50 years ago envisioned. Now there's people trying to take that away. Donald Trump is trying to turn back the clock on our rights to a time when discrimination and equality were the law of the land. Our issue is strong borders, no crime. Their issue is open borders, let MS-13 all over our country. We hear views on television today that are on the lunatic fringe, frankly. Don't listen to those guys. They don't know what they're talking about. They know exactly what they're doing. They're just afraid of the influence we have and the future we are building. The 14th Amendment is a tool we have, and those in power are looking to take its protections away from us. But we can't let them do that. Here are a few things we can do to ensure that we have the power. Educating ourselves, educating friends and family, voting, protest, and even calling your representative in Congress. The 14th Amendment is a tool we all have, but the people in power, they're trying to take it away from us now. It was put in place 150 years ago. Let's not take it for granted. How can you power the 14th? 